Hi there, once again welcome to my channel. Consider subscribing if today is your first time visiting my channel. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorial. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to use the sub to tap function in Excel. Sub to tap functions allows you to create groups and then perform various other Excel functions such as the sum count, average, maximum, and then the rest. So we're going to look at how we can use the sub to tap functions and then the difference between them. Okay, other functions available. So let's say for instance, we want to get a total for the pricing column. I want you the sub total to do that. All we need to do is to select where we want to display our total. Okay. And then we type sub total. So equal to, so we have the sub total, select that and hit tab. And we have the functions available. We have all the way one up to 11 and those one will include hidden source. I'll explain that into details. And then from 101 all the way up to 111, we exclude hidden source. And I'll explain what that means. Okay, so stay tuned for that. So from here, let's say we want to calculate the total for this cell. And we want to calculate the sum. So I'll select sum and then hit the tab key on my keyboard. Okay, so it's going to give you 9. That is the number for the sum. And bring comma. And then you select what? your reference that's the column we want to calculate the sub total for select everything and then close the bracket and then hit enter you can see automatically it has labeled this and it give you the total for this so what happened when, when we try hiding parts of this particular rules from this particular table so let's select some few rules and then right click and then hide them so i'll go to hide and you can see we still have the total. So the first part actually excluded, included the hidden source as part of our total calculation. There's still another total sum part of this sum function. That's the subtotal function, which will exclude this hidden source. So I'm going to display that one as well. So let's undo this. And then this time around, let's use the subtotal again. Okay, so we are not going to use this 9, but we are going to use 109. You can see 109 is also what's sum. Okay, so let's select that. Hit the tab key. Bring comma and select our reference. Close your bracket and hit enter. You can see up to this stage, we are getting the same thing. But when we go ahead to select part of some cells now, let's some rules and then hide them. Go to hide is going to exclude the hidden what so so you can see it has actually updated the total so this is the difference between them you can use them to do some basic analysis so now if you click over here you can see we still have some drop down aside our total so you can go ahead and click on that and you can easily calculate average so you can see it's giving the average for this column so you can go ahead and do several analysis you can count this we have our seven columns and then you can all do that consider subscribing because i have so many tricks tips techniques coming up on this channel and i have a lot of videos as well so you can go ahead and then even count the sum as we you can see so once you add this you can go ahead and keep doing other changes count number or this is going to work for you so once you add this subtotal function it give you the option the drop down to do other functions as well consider subscribing don't forget to turn on the notification bell as well and also remember to like and share this video till i come your way again bye bye